early voting proves to be a popular option for Ohio voters, especially a special push called Golden Week. It was the one week that you can register and vote at the same time down at the Board of Elections. Federal judges ruled that Ohio's Golden Week of early voting is a no-go. Well, the court did the right thing. You know, Ohio is one of the easiest places in America to cast a ballot. Local Democratic leaders, including Alicia Reese, say cutting out Golden Week means cutting out crucial communities. Golden Week uh, represents 80,000 people in Ohio voted during that week. Uh, and uh, we had no problems. But when you look at the areas that took advantage most of early voting, they're your urban cores, uh, your urban cities uh, that have large populations of, of African Americans and minorities. Hamilton County Republicans say Golden Week does the opposite. I think those arguments are almost offensive. I think that uh, regardless of a person's race or background, they should be able to cast a ballot in a month. And I think that to suggest that they cannot uh, is, is insensitive and inappropriate. They say voting in Ohio remains accessible. Ohio voters are going to find it as easy as ever to vote. They've got an entire month to do it. They can do it from the comfort of their own home. They can request a mail ballot to their house. Reese says those options aren't as trusted as some might think. Now here's the issue with a lot of, particularly uh, African American voters, they do not trust the mail, they do not trust the provisional ballots, because we've had instances where those votes had not been counted. Uh, it took us two years and a million dollars in lawsuits to get provisional ballots uh, counted. Both parties agree the battle for Ohio is far from over. We have not seen the last uh, piece of litigation in the elections process. For sure, we'll be back in the courts battling out some of these similar fights. Alexis, there's WLWT News 5.